Hi everyone, this is Garen and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Mesa 4x12 IR pack from DLS Digital. It's a pack I made in collaboration with the Dietet Lab Studios, which is a studio in, based in Verona where I used to make a, a substantial part of my productions. We took um, an amazing Mesa rectifier 4x12 with Vintage 30, so it's a, it's a classic, and we captured a lot of impulses with a lot of mics so it's really good uh, if you if you do home recording if you do pre-production of if you just want to jam with your plugins in your in your jaw it is completely free and i'm gonna leave the link uh, to download in the description you know in the description down below so uh without further ado i've made a little song just to hear what the, it does in an actual mix so before checking out how I made it, let's let's hear it. So let's roll the song. Okay, so here we are in Reaper. These are the tracks I put down for this little tune, and there are two main tracks, two like doubles on this second part, and this centered affected guitar that we're gonna see later. For the main rhythm guitars, I used the Super Duper Amp Sim by MS Soundrad, which is an emulation of um, the Dover head, which is a really cool head, very particular sound. And then for the cab we have the torpedo wall of sound i really love this uh, this uh, ir loader and we have two impulses from our from our pack for the mesa dls pack so just before we dive into this just keep in mind that not all the impulses in this pack are actual real microphones like uh, there are some emulations made with the antelope edge mic and with this later uh, ml1 I believe, or well, my two, I don't remember which one it is, the, the small pencil condenser one. These are emulations, they are really good, but you know, just keep in mind, it's not the actual mic. For example, this is an actual Audix i5, which is a like 57-ish type of sound, and this is an emulation of the Rode NT55, which is a, a mic I really liked. Just roughly balanced, 0dB and 0dB, blend really well together, so let's listen to them. Yeah, I really dig this tone. So on the main guitar bass, we just have some uh, low cut and high cut on like 83 Hz and uh, 10K, sorry, 18K. Uh, some people just would like no you go like this and uh, low pass much more like eight nine eight seven nine k but i think it just removes too much you know there is the sizzle here but if you remove too much you're just gonna get the guitar really really close some kind of muffle so i don't really like it but just a little bit so a part of that very straightforward let's look at the second layer here on the second the other section we have instead of the, the super duper we have um, come on we have the soldano emulation from mp2 back in multimedia this is a really good emulation the cab is um, is deactivated so we are gonna use for the cabinet again to be the wall of sound with uh, just one IR which is the U87 again this uh, U87 emulation same thing here for the right side so Let's hear them together. And them together with the main guitars. 
you're hearing there's not a huge difference but it's just you know making it a little bit more a little bit chunkier bigger for this you know kind of Gojira-ish part so let's move on so on the third part we have this little guitar part which again has the Sultana Hello with just a little bit less of uh, of saturation gain we don't actually actually have this overdrive to boost it we just have some compressioners of course and of course noise gate but then at the end we have again compression and then some digital delay to add uh, this kind of uh, moving effect with the delay so it's a one eight dotted delay like you know your very famous intro from language of the contortionist very cool effect so 1.8 dotted, uh, which is panning on the LCR, on the LCR channels. And then on the cab, we have uh, two emulations of the, no, sorry, not emulation, these are actual SN7Bs, two IRs, the hard pan and the left and right, but these are not the same IR. This is uh, more uh, pointed at the edge of the cap, not at the center, while this one is like pointing at the center very straight. So it's a slightly different tone, but it just makes for a bigger stereo image, a bigger effect. So let's hear it. <laughs> I don't think there's so much to add, so now we might just go on and try some of these impulses uh, just to have some fun and show some other tones. So here we are with the little chain, we have the Dr. Drive, which is a, of course a simulation of the Precision Drive, which is really great, I really use this very often and, this is, and it is free, so go grab one if you don't have. So going on the Ignite Amps, which is a classic of, you know, free amp simulations, really works. And then we have another Trupida Wall of Sound with two impulses loaded, so just put this on and we're gonna tweak them a bit. So this is the sound. <laughs> like this already I really like this Verge IR which is a Verge mic from Antelope which is intended to be an emulation mic like the other one the Edge which is the bigger one this is a small condenser and it, it is intended to be used with their simulations but it also really sounds very good just on its own it is very linear it's it has a very open sound so I just like to use it because it gives you that mid-range that open mid-range that you really need in metal so let's 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 listen to it in solo <laughs> So it's very intelligible, it's very mid-rangey, very I really like this tone. So I very often start with this emulation and then I add something to kind of fill it up. So uh, now we have this AKG414. <laughs> This is also very balanced, but it's a little bit, a little bit darker, a little bit more compact. This is an emulation of the C Airan. Okay, this is the D6. We just made this to experiment and um, it's not very Mac intended for guitar. So it's really scooped and it has a 
really, really aggressive high end. So it's. The guitar sounds like, you know, a cheap uh, practice amp, but I think this could have its, its uses now, you know. It could be used, for example, in a very, in a black metal production, in a old school death metal where you really want a, where you really want a nasty sound. But not my favorite for sure. I liked it, six, very 57-ish, but a little more controlled. This really sounds good just on its own, so very good. The NT55 of before. Aggressive on the low mids, classic R121 from Royer. Huge bottom end. RE20, this has similar characteristic, I think, as the Verge, so very open mid range, very easy to cut through the mix with this. Very particular, SN7B. Very, very high bite. Classic SM57. You know, 57 with a vintage 30 or with work. V7. So let's listen to them in uh, in sequence together with Verge, which I really like. <laughs> You know, if you combine the Z6 with something else, it can be it can be interesting, like it's, this is not bad actually. So let's move on. I5. The aggressive
there it is. So if you like this, uh, stay tuned with this channel because I'm gonna post more videos and also we are gonna release uh, much more free stuff like other impulses or camper profiles and all sorts of, sort of shit. So <laughs> um, again, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.